Hey guys, good morning, um, or actually good afternoon. It's about uh, noon on Tuesday, June 28th, and I am in my studio just getting ready to get started on some work for the afternoon. And I figured that I would try doing some vlogging this week. I don't know if it's going to happen, but my, um, my plan, my idealistic plan is that I want to vlog for five days in a row um, just because, uh, well, I thought it would be fun and it's something I haven't done before. And um, it's actually a pretty busy week coming up. I have, um, I don't know if you can see behind me, but um, a bunch of these illustrations here. There are 14 of them and um, you might have seen that um, pink one on the right there was the one that I did a video about last week. But um, these are going to be, um, I believe, for a video game, which is cool because I have never had work in a video game before. Um, so yeah, I have to finish, there's about seven of them I think are, are mostly done. And seven of the rest um, are kind of in the very first stage still, and they're all due this Friday, um, July 1st. So I have a lot to do there, and then I also have another um, sort of smaller private commission that I'm working on, and then I'm also doing, oops, sorry, I hope this isn't too shaky. And I'm also doing, the, um, doing some website stuff for um, an ongoing client of mine. Um, and then just like normal admin and emailing and um, figuring out um, the groundwork for new projects as well. So um, figured it could be an interesting week and um, hope you guys enjoy seeing it. Um, yeah, so now I'm just going to get started on some of these illustrations. I'm hoping to finish a couple at least today, um, but tomorrow I should have a longer chunk of time. So uh, yeah, I'll dive right in and see how far I get. finished up on a couple of illustrations. Well, they're not totally done, but I've gotten them to like a 80 to 85 percent of the way there. And my initial plan was that I was going to do two today, three tomorrow. Well, totally complete two today, complete three tomorrow, and then complete two more on Thursday because they're due on Friday and I'll still have to like scan them all in and clean them up and stuff. So, um, but now I'm thinking I might, um, actually work on a couple of more a couple more today and just get them try to get them to that 80 uh, 80 percent point as well because I ended up using some Gamsol and two of the ones that I worked on um, so far the two egg ones and sometimes I feel like it's better just to let that sit for a little while um, so that I don't mess it up or whatever um, yeah so um, uh, after I finished those, I also went and got a snack and made some phone calls. And since I'm using the iPhone to vlog today, because I've got the other one already set up, um, the other camera already set up, I couldn't record <laughs> while I was also making calls. But just admin stuff, um, following up from different clients um, and inquiries. So yeah, now I think I'm going to get back to some drawing. And then I also have um, some new paper that came, well, it's a new shipment of my old paper, so my regular paper. So I'll probably open that up. Um, and then depending on how the afternoon goes, if I get to a good point, I might take a break and do some baking. Um, and then probably we'll also do some emailing. And yes, that should be the rest of the day. All right, I'm gonna get to it. Salad, one of the illustrations uh, for this video game project, and um, I just remembered a question that somebody had posted on a video maybe a week or two ago asking about greens and blending, color blending greens, and 
how it could be kind of, tr they made a comment that it could be kind of tricky. And um, I wanted to take a minute to address that because it's definitely true. Um, blending greens, I think, is one of the, greens are one of the trickier color families to work with, especially if you're doing something like this where it's natural, it's, um, it's organic. And those greens are tricky because uh, they have a lot of red in them naturally. And so, you know, it can be tempting when you're doing really dark areas to just use like the darkest green that you have or even black. And I do use really dark greens at times. But to really get it to have that kind of lively look where, you know, it's still nice and dark, but it's not, it doesn't look dead or artificial, you actually have to add in um, red because red is the complement to green. So rather than just adding like dark gray or black here, um, adding some red along with that, um, along with that dark green will really help it to sink down and read as a natural shadow. Yeah, so I'm just going over some of the dark areas where um, I want it to be a really deep shadow and adding some red to it. I think another thing that can be tricky for folks about working with, um, excuse me, about working with more organic leafy greens is that a lot of the time you'll be tempted to reach for a color like, know, that's a good color, like this. This color is called grass green. Um, and I mean, I think it would be pretty close to like a, not quite a phthalo green, but it's definitely a blue green and it has a lot of cool undertones. Um, and even though it's called grass green, if you tried to draw grass or leaves or anything like that with this green, in most situations it wouldn't look really real at all. Um, the kind of more natural organic greens have a lot more yellow in them. And so I'm using colors like this, which is um, lime peel, and Prussian green, whoa, giant hand. Um, Prussian green, which uh, both have a lot of warmth in them. And then um, even this, I think this is apple green, it's almost at the end there, but lots of warmth in it. So it's, it's tricky to, you don't want to go too yellow, but you want to be sure to pick colors that have, that have enough warmth in them so that they'll read as natural greens rather than um, artificial or man-made greens. about 5 30 and um, I've been working on the computer for the last couple of hours um, just sent a proposal um, to a new client followed up on some other emails with existing clients and now I'm kind of ready for a little bit of a break I'm gonna need to do more work later but um, I sometimes just feel exhausted after I've done stuff on the computer so um, I'm gonna take a break and go bake, I think maybe some pumpkin muffins, even though it's summertime and not really um, pumpkin time of year. It's always pumpkin time of year for me because I love pumpkin. Um, yeah, so I think I might go do that and, um, and yeah, that's what's happening. <laughs>